This video is a call for the 21st century's task-based pedagogy in higher education. Hi everyone, my name is Subin George. I am a passionate research scholar in the field of higher education students learning and teaching. I work as an assistant professor of School of Social Work in Deepol Institute of Science and Technology. I am also a trainer of SPSS and Statitex Data Interpretation. I am so much passionate in digital teaching because in this 21st century, it is unimaginable to impart education by devoiding technology in higher education, isn't it? Because the unprecedented situations like COVID-19, Nipah, flood and other natural calamities can easily be patched up with digitally driven educational system. Therefore, I am going to describe the most modern pedagogical practices through technology. As all of us know, there are multiple live online educational platforms available today. At the same time, digitalization in education is a topic that needs to be dealt with carefully. Let me repeat it once again. Digitalization in education is a topic that needs to be dealt with carefully. Otherwise, as a social worker, I feel that it might open the door for a new division in the community. In my opinion, the division of neglect against the poor students who are unable to recharge unlimited mobile data for attending online live classroom education. The live digital classroom needs high internet speed with more data on students phone. Imagine if those students who have educational loan, it gives an extra burden for their parents to recharge phone data with a substantially high amount. So let's don't create the richer poor disparity through the online live classroom. Therefore, what's a solution to keep technology clinged with education by considering all spheres of students in the class? There comes the importance of the topic of discussion today, Google Classroom through the lens of Hots and Rubric. Now, let's get the ball rolling. Google Classroom is not a live online classroom. Therefore, it will not let the student's internet data get exhausted. It is a platform where we can initiate the best teaching learning practice through the student-centered and experiential learning methods. Google Classroom is the best technology integrated platform in education to disseminate knowledge. Like Moodle tasks and assignments, the teacher can provide subject-based activities to the students in the form of videos, quizzes, open and, open and close-ended questions for asking them to answer it, reflective writings on the topic of discussion, YouTube links, PDF materials and so on with a clear deadline of submission. Students just need to know their tasks are based on the topic of discussion and its expected outcome definitely through the Google Classroom and uh, submit it on or before the deadline of submission. Based on the tasks a teacher provide to the students, rubric of both analytical and holistic can be set to assess and evaluate the student's performance on the task. Before we begin in detail with the Google Classroom, we have to understand that the traditional way of teaching is highly being criticized for modifications across the world. That is, a teacher using all his expertise to impart a lecture without any student's participation like the banking model of education enunciated by Paolo Ferre. We don't need a teacher expert who can flow honey through his knowledge in this 21st century of education. But we need a teacher who can engage students by providing the right tasks based on the topic of discussion. All of us are familiar with HOTS, that is the higher order thinking skills, which calls for students' critical thinking and problem solving skills to the topic we discuss and synthesize it with the students' creativity and reproduce it 
in a way socially useful manner in bloom's taxonomy as all of us are familiar for example skills involving analysis evaluation and synthesis that is students creation of new knowledge based on the topic of discussion are thought to be of a higher order thinking skills in the prema mo- malayalam movie we remember vinay fort is taking a class do you remember that java what java is simple java is simple and powerful in the new way of pedagogy the students are the one who must tell java is powerful through the experientially driven classroom not the teacher imposing to the students that it is powerful by helping them to provide topic based actions in the classroom therefore we need a task based pedagogy rather than a monotonous class in addition to this it is important to recall what we already know about lower order thinking a student who memorizes the lessons he or she intends to study is considered as a lower order thinking which has no usage except getting good marks in the exam without even knowing deeply what is learned on the previous day of the exams those students who memorize the classroom lessons fail to practice professionalism in the workplace we must have noticed that right that's why employers always say our students are unproductive because they memorize everything but they don't know when and where to use the knowledge isn't it similarly any teaching hour you are a teacher and any teaching hour any of your teaching hour without a single syllabus based task in the classroom is considered as another lower order thinking stimulus did you notice that if you conduct a class without a single class single task on the topic of discussion that is considered as an another lower order thinking stimulus the period of teacher authoritarianism is over teacher cannot impose anything on students that era is over now this is a 21st century which needs collaborative learning which is surged across the world therefore 21st century of education calls for task oriented classes which help students to reflect on what is learned visualize when to apply it and amalgamate it with their own creativity and put it into action during the time of learning itself mahatma gandhi a great visionary in 1936 said about naive taleem that is new education system of experiential centered teaching and learning we have plenty of student centered learning cycles for example colves a experiential based learning cycle gibbs a reflective learning cycle which is of my favorite one problem based learning outcome based learning obl like we always say blooms a learning taxonomy etc we will discuss each one of them in the upcoming uh, video sessions so in the wake of all of these thoughts of what we rightly discussed let's begin hots based uh, google classroom learning what are the advantages of google classroom firstly students don't need to come live online if they don't have a strong internet speed they just have to know their tasks are based on the topic given by the teacher to get experience on the title discussed and do the responsibilities and submit it on or before the stipulated deadline secondly since there are deadlines students will be automatically be forced to do the action initiated by the teacher as they will be unable to submit any variety of tasks we provide after the mentioned date and time the task outcome can be scientifically be measured through rubric scores which i discussed just before is a third advantage of google classroom fourthly the students learning from inside using innate creativity and higher order thinking skills by providing tasks through google classroom platform the expected outcome of this google classroom 
through the lens of Hodge's and Rubric. One, reaching to all students, even with the less internet speed, who are helpless and unable to be part of the live online sessions. Maintain the learning experience of the students during any kind of unprecedented situations which may occur in the future, where students are unable to go to college or university. Embark a student-centered experiential-based pedagogy suggested by NAC. Bring out students' critical thinking, talents, problem-solving skills, and innate creativities through a digital platform. To complete portions before the exams, even students are unable to go to university or college due to any unforeseen situations. Here is just a disclaimer. You have to listen. Though Google Classroom is a free digital plat platform, our college or university needs to sign up for G Suite for Education. It's a simple and fast process. Any college will get it in no time. Contact your college or university system admin. That's about it. You all take the action now, now, today, at this moment. The next step is listen to any Google Classroom tutorials from YouTube and get acquainted with 21st century's experiential digital learning system. See you all with the next video. My big thanks to the Association of Schools of Social Work in Kerala, ASK, for motivating me to do this video. Bye-bye.